In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an attendance tracker in percentage here in Google Sheets. So we're going to track the attendance of our employees in percentage with a progress bar at the end to better visualize our data. So let's say one of our employees has a perfect attendance like so. If you make any changes in these attendance right here, it will be reflected with our percentage column in our progress bar column. So here at the top, we have someone who has a perfect attendance, a hundred percent attendance. And again, that is reflected with a visualization of our full progress bar at the end of our column. Let's recreate this with our practice sheet right here. Here we have it. Now, if you want to recreate this table right here, I have made a video on how to quickly make an attendance tracker. I'm going to be leaving a card at the top right corner for you to check out. So let's go back to our attendance tracker right here. We have our percentage column and our progress bar column. We're going to start with our percentage column. First thing that we're going to do is to count how many days this employee has entered. And we're going to be using the count if function to do that. Start with your equal sign, then type in count if or select it right here. Here is our formula. We have our range, which is this row of check boxes, unchecked and check boxes, comma. Then our criterion would be the value of true because the default value of our check boxes are true if they're checked and false if they're unchecked. So we're going to go ahead and put in true. Press enter. And there we have it. We also have our suggested autofill, which has already counted the rest of our data. Let's accept that autofill and there we go. Now to get the percentage, what we're going to do is to edit that formula, add the forward slash, which is divide and the value of five, which is the number of checkboxes right here, the number of days in a full attendance right here in our data. And if we press enter, there we have it. So we have our values in numeric form again. Let's accept our suggested autofill. And our last step would be to format this column right here into percent. So let's go to the arrow down in our column right here, then select edit column type, go to number and select percent. And there we have it. Now we have all of our values in percentage. So instead of just saying that this person has entered for three days, we can say they have a 60% full attendance for that week. And if we make any changes right here, again, it will be reflected in our columns. And of course, if we make any changes right here, those changes will be reflected in our columns. Now let's proceed to our progress bar. Now this is optional. It's totally up to you if you want to add it or not. But again, this is a great visualization of our data. So let's get started. We're going to be using the function sparkline. Start with your equal sign, type in spark or select it right here. Then we have our data, which is our percentage right here, then comma. Now for our options, since we're trying to do a progress bar, we're going to be typing in chart type. But before that, let's start with our curly brackets. So go ahead and put in chart type in quotations. So open quotation mark, chart type, closing quotation, comma, we're going to do a bar progress bar, closing quotation. Now for the semicolon, we are going to put in our max value. Max would be comma 100% curly brackets and your closing parentheses. If we press enter, there we have our progress bar. And if we drag this down, now we have a visualization of our data from this column right here. Now, another optional thing that you can do would be to change the color of your progress bars. So we can do that by editing our formula. Go back to right here, just before your curly brackets, your closing curly brackets, add in a semicolon. Then in quotations again, you can put in color one, closing quotation marks, comma and the color of your choice. So since my table is a color pink, 
I'm just going to select color pink. So in quotations again, just type in pink. Close in quotation marks, press enter, and there you have it. Now, if I drag this formula down, here we have our progress bars in the color pink. And there you have it. That's how to create an attendance tracker in percentage with an additional progress bar here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.